Six Point Four wants to put the happy back in your holidays. According to the National Fire Protection Association, fire stations respond to an average of 166,000 fires each year involving cooking equipment. And Thanksgiving, it's the most dangerous day. Our Nikki Torres has more on how you can make sure that your ha your family and your home are safe this holiday. A stovetop fire can grow in just a matter of seconds. That's why Spokane firefighters have some words of advice before the big day. <laughs> Grease fires are one of the most common cooking fires firefighters see, especially around the holidays. They can also be the most dangerous if you don't know how to handle it. If you have a really small grease fire, what they recommend doing is putting an oven mitt on, sliding the lid over, and putting the grease fire out that way. Fire experts say to never use water to put out a grease fire. Otherwise, this happens. What happens is it makes a really big flame and is incredibly dangerous. If the fire grows, Call in the experts. If you have a larger fire, obviously we want you to make sure that everybody gets out of the home, close the door if you can, call 911 and the firefighters will be there to help out. Another common fire incident is what firefighters call stovetop storage fires. Maybe they've done a grocery store shopping trip and they've run out of counter space, so they put it on the stovetop. This is an example of what never to do. You can see how even just setting a paper bag on the stovetop can start up flames in your kitchen. And if you're going to be using your oven, maybe for your Thanksgiving turkey, many of the same rules apply, and then some. If you do have an oven fire, you want to keep the oven closed, and if possible, you want to unplug the power source. Bottom line, pay attention to what you're cooking and you'll be just fine. Uh, ask for help from those family members that have been cooking for a while. And if you're frying or using oil, we want to make sure that you stay in the kitchen or turn the heat source off if you're not going to be there. Spokane Fire says Christmas is the second leading day for cooking fires, followed by Christmas Eve. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Nikki Torres, KXLY4 News.